Okay, this video is a sequel of our last video to show the differences between track dimmers and digital LED dimmers. In the last video, we point out the two critical parameters in order for track dimmers to work for LED dimming, namely the minimum holding current of the track IC, which is an unknown, and the amount of current drawn from the low as we dim, which is a variable. As long as the current required is higher than the first whole value, track dimming seems to be working fine. The exception is about the shortened product lifespan caused by leading edge dimming methodology, which is after this, this discussion. So we focus on the specific value of the minimum holding current for this discussion. Now, this particular value for a particular track IC varies from batch to batch and is subject to the production lot, production site, and the source for the track IC, etc. And this is the ultimate cause of inconsistent dimming performance. The general users only purchase from operatory retail shop. So here we have three dimmers, KB31, RD400, that we purchased from the same retail location for our demonstration. Although we don't know the exact value, the versatile values are indeed different and are making the visible impact to the dimming performance. As you'll soon see, all these three dimmers do not work with this LED strip light. So our point here is to, for you to pay attention to the dimming level below which each individual dimmer shows flickering, or the dimmer becomes unstable itself. The instability causes a chain effect to the LED driver which is powered via the dimmer. And as a result of the driver becoming unstable, we then see the visible flickers. Okay, let's try with the first dimmer. And we start dimming from the maximum level here. Not too far down as we dim, we already see the uh, LED strip is actually flickering. So let's, for our argument's sake, we don't need to be exact here, and just enough to show the differences. So let's call this, which is around here, let's say around 15% down from the maximum. Now let's repeat the same process with the other two dimmers. Now this is the second dimmer. Again, we're starting from the maximum. Okay, so this is more obvious for the flickering, unless, which is around here. Okay, at this point. So for argument's sake, let's say this is 30%. Now we repeat the process and with the third. Okay, now we repeat for the same with the third uh, dimmer. Again, we're starting from the maximum. Okay, so I would say this is more obvious for the flickers. So for this is around, which is here, so it's around say 40% 40, 40 down from the maximum. Now do note that even for all the three dimmers, even though we go to the lowest level that's available by the uh, dimmer, it's still very, fairly bright. Okay, and the only exception is we switch this off. So as we have just shown, the three dimmers, one, two, and three, okay, have different flicker flickering trigger points ranging from 15, 30 to 40 percent down from the maximum brightness level. So in other words we managed to dim more deeply with the last dimmers. Okay. Now we hope this video gives you a good idea why we say digital LED dimmers are one of the keys for the lighting evolution to continue. Because we really need something that's reliable for performance yet simple to use. And by demonstrating the different relevant issues to the market, we expect the market majority will choose the right device for their lighting for the LED dimming projects. 
And just before we finish the video, let's make a quick comparison with our digital LED dimmers that's already connected here. This is our one touch dimmer. It's connected here. Okay, let's try again. We had, this is uh, the maximum brightness available. You start dimming. Now, once it hits the lowest level, then it starts flashing. Now let's put this back up first. And I dim this down to a certain level here. Let's see. Now, in addition to the uh, stability issues, the memory recall features of the digital dimmer is great for startup dimming level. So now at this level, now I switch this off. And I switch it on again. You can see that it goes back to the lowest level, to the last brightest level. At the same time, for example, at this point, I would like to set this as the minimum level. And I start dimming to the top at the maximum brightness. Then you can see this is my, my new lowest level. And to clear this memory, it's very simple. We just push the option button down to the reset position. And immediately goes down to the zero. Okay. So the memory recall feature available from digital dimmers is really nowhere the track dimmers can compete. Okay, so that would conclude our video here. To learn more about our dimming technology and product benefits, please check out other videos in the series. And thank you for watching.